Okay, okay, no, no, please, please, please don't. It's my, it's my second day at work. I'm never gonna be able to explain all this fire. I can't just blame it on another coffee accident. Come on now, can't we just all be civilized? What is happening behind me? Can I turn my neck? Probably not. What's up guys, and welcome back to VICCP. So last episode, we had our first day of work. You know, we screwed around with the console a little bit and used it to communicate with a robot made out of skyscrapers who had just finished coming up with the answer to a question that was asked 3,000 years ago. Whatever the hell that means. And we tapped in the Large Hadron Collider to make the Earth flat. So overall, productive day, right? We learned a whole lot about our workstation. But since then, I think I figured out even more. Like this was something that really confused me. I was in the mindset that we needed to find something and attach it to them. Like an old school film reel projector, right? And we have a cassette player in the machine, so that just reinforced the whole idea. But now I'm thinking this is its own isolated puzzle. It seems super obvious now that I say it out loud, but I'm pretty sure all these concentric rings moving independently means I can make a path. And I should be able to move electricity from the left to the right, and then something will happen. I would imagine it'll give us even more buttons or knobs or dials. I haven't done it yet, but when you're editing videos and staring at this stuff for even longer, it all kind of sinks in. Okay. Huh. So we did get a bunch more dials. Oh, 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 wait. We saw the answer to this last time, didn't we? This is on one of the cassettes. I don't remember which one. I'm gonna assume the black one. I don't think the red one had anything on it. So we should be able to load you up and hopefully get something that'll help us with these. Things take freaking forever, man. Yes, there we go. Okay, perfect. So. It goes like that. Um. Okay, I'm back to being lost again. CPU status is okay, RAM status okay, system okay, cassette drive okay. Did the computer just reset? No signal. What am I looking for with these satellites? We've got some kind of radar here and I can move them independently. Whoa. What is that? Interesting. I think we found Sputnik. Is that what that is? <laughs> it's got a distinct reading. I'm guessing I just need to scan space, or was I supposed to find coordinates? I don't know what I did with my piece of paper with all the numbers on it. Oh, crap. It doesn't look like any of the numbers that we've seen already are any use, and the manual is still telling me to T-pose and slob squat for a few minutes every hour, but it's also got this. And if you look closely, it's got a rocket ship, it's got space, and it's got a very distinct pattern here on the right, but I looked in all of those coordinates and didn't find anything. Down here in the bottom left corner, though, I've got a little something. If I move over one, it disappears. When I go back, it's there. So, I have to be close. Okay, when I move to the right, it's still there. Interesting. So it's between 15 and 17. I can switch these. Gone down there. Okay. Oh. Uh, I found something else. Oh, there is a signal! Press enter! Yes, sir! I think I found a lunar lander? I am not experienced in this! <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm perfectly fine. I don't need to make important decisions like choosing a landing site. Um, that's not helpful. That's too many grids. Oh, crap. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a lunar lander by the toe. If it crashes, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Uh, oh, um, should, should I be? What is this? 
Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I gotta, I gotta keep it flat, right? It's gonna straighten itself out, but I may need to give a little input here. Nice, nice and level. Whoa, 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 oh, okay. Don't wanna be in the danger, danger zone, danger zone. Careful. We got this, we got this. Everything is under control. Don't worry, you brave astronauts. <laughs> Your lives are safe in my hands and my two buttons. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit to this side. It keeps listing to the right, so I'll cheat to the left just a touch. We need to keep it perfectly level. No, no, no. We got this. We got this. Everything is fine. It's fine. Everything is okay. We're good? Is that a good thing? Oh, oh, no! <laughs> what did I do wrong? It was perfectly level, right? Oh, and they're gone. Well then, oh, that was an ending. So, was that a success? I don't think I was trying to nuke the moon. Maybe we're supposed to use both cassettes for this ending. Hey, the black one tells us about these dials. I don't remember what's on the red one exactly. I think it was a whole lot of information that wasn't at all useful. Results of calculations. 13, 6, 10, 1, 100. I can still print this out. What are you willing to bet those are the odds of success for our landing? Were those the same numbers? I am getting so sick and tired of having to fix all the crap around here. I just... I would love to pick up the phone and call the janitor, but I know I'm gonna make this thing burst into flames, so I'll just do it myself. Hopefully this prints out correctly anyway. I should double check to make sure. So uh, if anything, all I need to know is that 100% is in the top right-hand corner, right? So 100% is up here. Okay. So if I use this, then I should be good. Three by five, I think that was right. Let's just check real quick. So if I open you up, there we go. And then the coordinates were what? Negative 16-ish and negative, I don't remember, 16 or 17. I could just find it the same way I did last time by roaming around and looking for a signal. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Hello? I know you're down here somewhere, young man! Come into contact with me! I'm kinda tempted to systematically scan the entire map, because there's other stuff out there. Like, this isn't what we need for this ending, I assume, but it, it's gotta be there for a reason, right? We got negative 15 too, so I'm gonna mark that down. That might be important. We might actually be able to call the- oh, shh. I forgot to drink my coffee this morning! <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Rule number one when landing something on the moon is no open beverages near the console. So we're just gonna drink this real quick. That way we're nice and sharp, laser focused, and, and enter you. And then I need to double check to make sure that the landing zone hasn't changed. It might be randomly generated. Results of calculation, it did change. Okay, so it's, Two and two is our 100% guarantee. If that's the case, that means I had a chance to succeed last time. I could have swore I had it leveled out, but maybe I didn't? <laughs> Choose a landing site. It's gotta be that, right? Three and five. Two and two, that looks right. Okay. So now I just need to keep it level. We should be fine. <laughs> so this is actually two endings? There's a failed ending and a success ending? That's amazing. Uh, things are going quite a bit smoother this time, right? Oh, oh, no, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, there we go, ah, oh, no, 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 okay, I take it back, we're hitting a little bit of space turbulence here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man, come on! <laughs> just keep it together! These poor astronauts just bouncing around in there like gumballs. We good? Are, 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 I, I think there's a, a nice little margin of error, right? Doesn't need to be perfectly flat. As long as we're not red lighted, we should be okay. Is that flat? Should I, I'm not gonna make any changes while it's landing. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. It's at 100%. This is on you now. I'm not the one controlling the landing. Okay, it's whoever's in the pilot seat. I'm gonna assume that success. There's no boom. 
which usually indicates success. Weird. What are we looking at right now? Is this normal lunar landing footage? I don't think it was. I think we landed there slightly before or slightly after the Americans did, and we were recording them? That was so strange. So other than these dials, I also put some thought into the phone, because we screwed around with it quite a bit last time, but we didn't really get anywhere other than burning ourselves to death. And I really doubt this complex phone is just a trap, so we're not going to make that same mistake for a third time, technically. <laughs> now, we know that the phone has three. I was going to say four, but it's got three individual buttons and one false button. Interesting. And when we connect the wires, two will connect the modem. So I'm curious what the other wires do. If we connect three... Would that connect us to security or maybe to system setup? Not sure. We've got a button. Button doesn't seem to do anything. Phone still has no ringtone. Okay, what about security? Connect to checkpoint. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, that's different. <laughs> Haven't gotten any phone calls here. Hello? Please open the gate. Position officer. Personal number 73826. Access yes. Um, okay. I'm opening the gate. Which gate? Is that behind me? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, he looks like, they look like they have guns. Should I have not let them in? I'm going to hang up on you now. What's with the fire? Okay, okay, no, no, please, please, please don't. It's my, it's my second day at work. I'm never going to be able to explain all this fire. I can't just blame it on another coffee accident. Come on now, can't we just all be civilized? What is happening behind me? Can I turn my neck? Probably not. <laughs> Don't know if there's a head left on my neck. Well then, that was different. Let me guess, that's why we have all the staff's information on file. I'm not supposed to let anybody in who doesn't actually work here. They need to have the proper credentials, which means what? I need to memorize all this dossiers? That one didn't work. Why didn't that work? Is this thing broken again? What? Come on now. I need this information. They're going to shoot me in the back of the head. Come on. Keep, they're going to burn you to the ground, too. What is wrong with this disc? You've got to be kidding me right now. Something has to work. Here we go. Oh, and I can print them off. Perfect. So, I'll just sit here for the next five minutes. What is wrong with this thing? I'll sit here for the next five minutes kicking this piece of junk, printing out garbage dossiers. I don't care how all-powerful you are, console. I swear to God, if you jam again, I will hurl you into the sun. <laughs> I have had enough. I should have a full folder of faces right now, which means we can get back to what we were doing. We needed to connect three, correct? That should bring us back up to security. Get back out here, net modem. Probably gonna close that. Yeah, just play it safe. You never know if you can electrocute yourself in this. <laughs> Even though it's like I said last time, if you can, that'd be an ending. So I should probably try jamming my finger in the socket. Come on now, somebody call me. 
I know you're at. There we go. Hello. Physician serviceman. Personnel number 11616. Access yes. We will see about that. Just gonna flip through my book real quick. Medic. So that wouldn't be you. Serviceman 11617. So that wouldn't be you. Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't check out. Sorry. Hit the bricks. Do people just walk up to this place and they're like, yeah, we'll try. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Hello? What do you got for me? Please open the gate. Medic 99701. Medic 99701. Let's see here. I'm not going to memorize all these. This is our only medic. This isn't the number, so no. Probably better to play it safe anyway. I'm curious what would happen if I just said no to everybody. I could just stay in here in my safe little fortress, right? That'd be an ending eventually. <laughs> what is it? Serviceman! 11617! Okay. I think those are the proper credentials, but does the face match? Uh... 11617. Serviceman. Access, yes. He's got a mustache and a scar over his right eye. Okay. Mustache and a scar over his right eye. I'm gonna assume that's correct. There's only one way of finding out. Oh, oh, yeah, I think we're right. It added it to the list, so we have one correct personnel who came to work. Do I need to do this every day to let my colleagues in? That seems like way too much responsibility, okay? I'm already making the earth flat and talking to robots and landing rovers and stuff. Cut me some slack here. They do not make it easy to guess your way through this. They're really trying to stump me here. What can I do for you, Bubbo? Medic 49507. 49507. 49507. Medic access, yes. Got a full beard that's really... Why do you take personnel photos wearing glasses, you dipshits? He's also got a little something on the side of his face. Yeah, we're gonna say yes and hope for the best. Yes, perfect. Okay, that's two. We got a medic and a serviceman, so if I'm wrong the last time, at least we got somebody to shoot and somebody to patch up the back of my head. So all we have left now is the engineer or whatever it is. Joe's crematorium. You kill him, we grill him. What can I do for you, chief? Uh, 77134. That might be good. Might be the man we're looking for. Let's see here. 77134. They didn't make this photo easy. He's wearing a headband and glasses. He's got a mustache. Oh. No, he's actually wearing a headband and glasses. I didn't realize. <gasps> what is going on outside right now? Are whole days passing as he stands there? What? Oh. Oh, it looks like there's planes flying by in the night and they're dropping bombs? Is that why I'm behind some kind? Okay, sorry, I, I won't stop guessing. I'll let you in. <laughs> He's like, it's hell out here. There's explosions everywhere. I'm like, what's going on out there? The feet, oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was totally the guy. Do not give me that. No, I'm hanging up on this whole situation. Shut the hell up. No, no, no fires. No fire. I should have thought about it more. I was too busy paying attention. What was wrong with the background? What? 77134? Seven, seven, Was it not 77134? Seven, seven, Go ahead, shoot me. See if I give a shit. 77134. Seven, seven, the position was correct, I think. It says yes. Yeah, that should have been him. Weird. I have been at this for no joke 45 minutes. It is like Halloween in this bunker right now. They keep showing up. They keep asking for candy. I keep telling them to shove their credentials up their ass because none of them are right. I'm not looking for an engineer. Go away. And even when I do get the right credentials, sometimes they just come in and shoot me. They look identical to the picture, all the right numbers, all the right information. I let them in and then my head explodes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong right now, and none of these people are right! So check this out. We have Medic 57170. He's wearing glasses, he's got a scar on his cheek, and a full beard. We have Medic 57170. 
He's got glasses. He's got a scar over his cheek. He's got a beard. That should be correct. I should let you in. And that's correct. Okay, we got one. Thank Christ. <laughs> I'm so used to it being wrong that I was ready to flip my table right now. Oh, I don't know why. It just doesn't make any sense. Sometimes they just show up with people and shoot you. And I don't think I can see the people behind them. Unless I'm supposed to wait for a bomb to drop. Oh! Oh, that that might be a thing. Hold on. Hi. Hello. Didn't I... Didn't I just let you in? Medic 57170. Medic 57170. Scar over the sheet. What the hell? I've got a doppelganger. Okay, hold on. I need to study this now. What's different between you and the guy I just let in? Because you're clearly wrong. I don't see anybody behind you. It's not... Oh. Maybe it's that the footage is looping? Does it always go to the squares and then back in on this? I don't know if that's the case. It looks like the footage is looping, right? And then it cuts back over. I don't know. Either way, that's a no. Go away. We already have one medic. We don't... Actually, we do want another one, but he's 81344. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that out loud. Oh my god. I, I just want it to be over. I just want my ending. Please. I didn't expect to be playing Papers, Please this morning. Yeah. <laughs> what can I do for you? Medic 571... Will you go away? I'm not falling for it. No, no, no. I already have Medic 57170. That's three times the same guy's shown up and twice it would have been wrong. What does it mean? Oh, I think he took my advice. Medic 81344. Let's see here. Medic 81344. 1344. Medic access. Yes, he's got a full beard, glasses, and a scar over the right eye. I mean, full beard, glasses... Scar over the right eye. The footage looks like it's kind of looping, but it always looks like that. I don't know. <laughs> Was there also... I mean, it kind of goes down on his cheek a little bit here. It doesn't... It kind of goes down on his cheek a little bit there, but not really. Can't tell if he has a mohawk or not. I'm going to let him in. Oh! Oh, it was right. Okay. We got two. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but this is the furthest I've got in nearly an hour, so one more. We're looking for Officer 52187, and then we're good. We're closing down for the day. I'm, I'm giving this job to somebody else because I'm getting real fed up with this. Here we go. Officer 52187. 52187, and what exactly do you look like? 2187, Officer Access, yes. He's wearing glasses and... No scars, clean cut, just a real vanilla looking guy. I mean, that's correct, technically. And I noticed that with the last medic, it does do the outside squares and then in on the credentials and then back out. And it does look like it's looping all the time no matter what. So I really have no way of telling if this is wrong. I'm going to wait for a bomb to drop just to see. I got nothing. I don't see anything behind him. I'm just going to let him in and pray. Oh, thank God, yes! <laughs> I did it, right? Right? Right. Oh, boy. That should not have been nearly as difficult as it was. I, I don't know why I was right, but I was right, and that's all that matters. I let everyone into work today, and is that the end? That's the end. I'm clocking out. All staff on site, we start the- Whoa, whoa, what? Alpha Centauri and Earth, and everybody is here. That's our sun. That's Alpha Centauri. Releasing cubes around the world. Teleportation was successful. What? Why did we- Why did we need two medics to teleport the Earth to another- Solar system? Universe? Not really sure. Another solar system, I'm pretty sure. Either way, we just teleported the planet. I'm going to consider that a success. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of VICCP, guys. I felt a little bit more focused this episode. 
Honestly, just having all the information gathered already meant that going into these puzzles, I had a general idea what I needed to do. We got two pretty big endings, and I don't think there are many left. So if you guys want to see a final episode, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll be sure to think this over a little bit more between now and then. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.